and from one of the UK's most loved acting families, Gemma Redgrave. Now, if that didn't make this morning special enough, the wait soon. Now, my final guest has starred in some of our favourite shows, both on stage and screen. Please welcome the wonderful Gemma Redgrave. <laughs> Hello. You're lucky, the hats have gone. We've all been wearing crazy Oh, I heard hats, about the fascinators. I know, the fascinators. They were divine. We could They're get lovely. you one. Um, oh, I'm sad I missed that. Um, now, <laughs> very, slightly sad. <laughs> slightly sad. <laughs> the, um, the Old Vic celebrating yes. bicentennial year to 200 years i think it was is it was on the 11th of may that's right lots of productions on it i think a christmas carol was on fanny yes. and alexander yes was wonderful on, yes um with penelope wilton was on the show a few weeks ago and um it's it, it's bit it's the idea been to bring people perhaps to the old vic who might not have well on friday night yeah. um uh when uh mood music when we were performing mood music that it was an entirely invited audience and tickets were given out by lottery um people applied or they and or or, or they were just offered i think mm -hmm. and um and it was it was completely packed people hanging practically from the rafters um and when matthew watches came on at the end and made a speech about the old vic and the importance of theater and he asked anybody if they were coming to the old vic for the first time and quite a few people put up their hands and then he asked if people are coming to the theater for the first time and it took a few oh, it took a few moments before people had the courage to put their hands up but people did and that i found so moving and yeah. last week we had a lot of schools in um and that's very exciting too particularly with this play which they have a sort of visceral response to so the teachers you can hear them at the beginning you know telling them all shh, 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 and at a certain point they can't contain themselves any longer and they sort of break out and they express their disapproval of this character and it's wonderful and at that point you know that the teachers are have lost yes. <laughs> okay. but it's all right and we've won, and you've won. <laughs> fantastic tell us about mood music because it was actually sort of written before a lot of the things that have, have been going on in the press recently like me too campaign and all sorts but yes. it's, it's a fascinating story tell tell us a little bit about it well, it's 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 um it's set in the music business um mm. and it's it's the story of uh, a relationship that's broken down badly between a much older well, much older <laughs> very young he's my age um <laughs> an older um producer and a young um talent very talented singer songwriter mm -hmm. um who've been brought together by a record company um and um the argument really is over over the ownership over attribution really of the of 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 what they're producing um, so it's it's sort of it's it's set in the music business and it is about the music business to some extent but it's also um, I think it's 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 universal it's it's about all sorts of there are themes in it that 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 resonate with people who lots of people who work in creative industries and beyond mm. um, about abuse of power about um, the difficulty of um, attribute of, of, of attributing ownership of um, a, a piece of work when it's been collaborated on by many people and it's um, it's thrilling and very very funny and um, and and powerful and um, thought-provoking piece of work and you play um, I'm a, a, a psychologist I'm, I like play every, yeah Cat is the is the young woman who's the singer-songwriter yeah. and I play Cat's psychotherapist how is it to play psychotherapist that sounds like a thrill yeah it's 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 it is a thrill um uh shauna kerslake who plays cat is uh, you've seen it haven't I you have tom isn't yeah, she yeah. wonderful she's fantastic absolutely yeah. so brilliant you, oh way. thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh it's an it's a it's it's an honor and a privilege to yeah. play shauna's psychotherapist um, it's always difficult playing the psychotherapist because you have all the questions <laughs> and it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a bit of a learning nightmare, um, because it's so much easier to learn when you have the response. A response, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. of course. But, um, but I, but it's a, it's a fascinating relationship and it's a fascinating process. And of course I've done quite a lot of research on a psychotherapeutic relationship in my life. Um, <laughs> I know. Well, I we've know. all we had all moments, have. haven't yes, we? Yes, I know. We've all had moments. So I, so I, I, I 
I felt I, I, I'd, I'd sort of I'd paid my dues and I could go in with a certain amount of research already in my back pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, Sandy, I've done the research already. Yeah. Um, also, very exciting, you have been filming scenes for Holby, which we're not going to see, I don't think, until June. Yes. Is this is this right? How was it to return to Bernie? Are we going to... Is, is she going to see Serena? We get more Barina. I know that was a very popular yes, it's, relationship it's, in it's Holby. It's hugely popular. Yeah. It's, it's, had a, it's, it's, it's an ex had an extraordinary response. Um, and, oh, it was lovely to go back. Yeah. I, it, it is a lovely place to work. Any actor who, who goes in and does a bit there and comes out and says just the same... Everybody says the same thing. And they are... I've got a lot of friends there, and it's always lovely to go back and, um, and then to get some more time off. <laughs> yes, go in and... Uh... Hmm, well, yeah. think about what could possibly happen. And you brought a magic moment for us. Tell us about that beautiful view. Um, that is... Uh, those, that, those are the Black Mountains in Wales. I've spent a lot of my time in those mountains and they are... they draw me back and um, they're very, very... Have you ever been to the Black Mountains, any of you? No. Wales? The Brecon Beacons. Oh, yes, yes. The Brecon yes. Beacons are beautiful. beautiful. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Incredibly we'll beautiful. We'll all be there now, and you'll regret ever having said anything about no, it. No, I will. We'll all come here now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gemma. Catch Gemma in Mood Music at London's Old Vic Theatre. It's running until the 16th of June. Get your tickets quick. Now, my sofa is well and truly full. I'd like to play a little game with all of you in honour of today's royal wedding. <laughs> is there a wedding today? Uh, we've got a bouquet <laughs> challenge for you. All, all we need is a special bride. Stephen, would you be so kind? <laughs> Stephen, you are loving this. I'm not... Stephen, this is Gemma, by the Hi, way. Gemma. Stephen, you? Are you? Met I'm normally a very professional comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, I don't know what's uh, quite it, going on. It's... That's like a funeral march now. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm darling, but you're doing it so Thank well. You. Uh, all you have to do, guys, is catch one of these bouquets and in the little favours bag is a ball with a question which relates to a question that I'm over, going over to here. ask you. So, uh, yeah, go with me on this. Go with me. Uh, right, turn around. Are you ready to okay. throw? Maybe I'll cover your faces because the last thing I need to do is kill Eileen. Oh, Eileen. gosh, I know. <laughs> I don't want to kill Eileen. Right, I'm going to leave that to, f to Pat. Right, ready? Ready? One, uh, ready? Two, One, two, three. Three. Oh. Callum, I feel it was meant to be. Where are you, Stephen? No, Has he fled? Have you got <laughs> He's gone on his mini moon alone, <laughs> uh, or to straight to the buffet. Number two. Okay, so question number two. Yeah. Okay, for you, Tom, what is the song <laughs> that you have played the most or listened to the most? That I've listened to the most? Yes. Probably David Bowie's Life on Mars. Okay, oh, all right. Great. It's a oh, good nice. answer. Okay, uh, Callum. Got... You're one there. Oh, sorry, no, ladies. Okay, first. Go on, London. Go on, London. I can't get my ball out. Is that a six? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and other problems. <laughs> um, I've got number six. What is your party trick? It's really cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I used to do it to get on buses for free, but I can turn my thumbs like this. <gasps> oh! What? That is oh, a party trick. And I used to fumble around with my change and they just let me on the bus no. for free. That's no. <laughs> that's no, quite that's just, freaky. That's, that's wrong. wrong. On every day. That is quite strange. Everyone yeah. trying to do that. Yeah. Now, please don't oh. injure your hands. Yeah. You're all no. very. It's fine. Perfectly it's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any party tricks? No. Okay, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow yeah. that. You can't. No, it's very hard. <laughs> to follow the thumbs thing. Sue, darling, what number have you got? Three. <laughs> number three. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, or only one food, what would it be? Oysters. Oysters. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. You're going to be in a saucy mood after that. <laughs> uh, time now for more music. Callum, you better be ready. Yeah? I am. Off you go, my Thank darling. You Thank you. Callum. Uh, performing the song that launched him to stardom, his absolutely smashing version of Dancing on My Own. It's Callum Scott. <laughs> Human is out now. Huge thanks to all my gorgeous guests, Gemma Redgrave, Sue Cleaver, Tom Goodman Hill, uh, London Hughes, and of course Callum Scott. <laughs> thanks to all. Uh,
big thanks to you at home for starting your weekend with us. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow when my guests are comedian Sarah Pascoe, actress and singer Martine McCutcheon, Stephen Bailey will be back, minus the wedding dress, dishing out very helpful advice in a relationship agony uncle special, and we'll have live music from the wonderful Turin Breaks. See you tomorrow at 8.30. Until then, have a great Saturday. Thanks for watching.